Hey everybody, Logan here, and today we're talking about Mortal Kombat 12. Or are we? Dun dun dun. Actually, I think we are. Well, it's the 12th Mortal Kombat game in the mainline series. You know why? Because a teaser came out. A teaser that is a very big tease. We're going to take a look at this. So, I decided to pull up uh, Push Square. Why? Because I like the way they had it set up and everything. It's a little easier than pulling up YouTube and stuff like that because, well, it's already embedded. And it gives you a little bit uh, that I didn't even think about. And I was like, ooh, let's... Yeah, let's cite them. So, here, let's... Let, let, let's turn off that. And now, let us go one step further into the nether realm. Okay, I'm going to shut up and let's read. Mortal Kombat 12 teaser trailer hints at series reboot. Not just for PS5, it's Xbox as well. But like I said, this comes from Push Square. So... Nice. Back to one. So, with that being said, let's read, or seen, I should say, Mortal Kombat 12 is coming. But the twist is that it may not actually be named Mortal Kombat 12 at all. Following on from last week's Space Dust teaser, developer NetherRealm has uploaded a short video of a clock counting backwards. That's it's not counting backwards, it's going forwards, but it's skipping. As it gets uh, to the 11 and tries to tick towards 12, time jumps forward all the way to 1. I wouldn't say all the way, it's just going from 11 to 1. Could the game represent a reboot for the series convoluted timeline then, which we already have, because technically Mortal Kombat 9 is the reboot uh, after Armageddon? We went into that direction. Now the series has technically been rebooted, but we never even got like true Mortal Kombat four characters and stuff like that. So I don't know. I I like the way nine, ten, and eleven went, but with everything that happened in eleven, what more can you really do? They really took it into, you know, they they really went out into left field. So let's continue. We should find out very soon. Speculation suggests that the game will be announced this summer, either as part of some kind of PS showcase, probably, or something from uh, what would have taken place of E3, or at any other events currently scheduled to take place in June. It definitely feels like the studio is building towards something now. And we know from publisher Warner Brothers of financial reports that the title is targeting a release later this year exciting times true so with that being said i was going to make this video earlier when this came out actually as this is being aired yesterday i saw the the trailer and my mind was just hmm overrun with thoughts and possibilities now, some people were saying it's a reboot. It's a complete reboot. Mortal Kombat, all new Mortal Kombat, new characters, new this. And I'm like, nah, 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 nah. I would like to see a remaster, remake, reboot, if you will, of the original Mortal Kombat 1 with the original characters in the original uh, setting in that combat island, if you will, whatever you wanted to call it. Maybe have the game kind of resemble the, the original movie. Um, I don't know if I'd want it to resemble the new movie because that was very, very different. Or, or because we are seeing time tick, what about the original? Chronological, not Mortal Kombat as we know it, the first Mortal Kombat tournament ever. Then we could go with a reboot of all new characters in that sense but it's technically not a timeline reboot. It is 
going back in time all the way to part. Negative one, I guess you could say. So Mortal Kombat with the original Kung Lao. Um, if you guys remember a show called Mortal Kombat Conquest, it could start back then. <gasps> okay, that's just me being a, a Mortal Kombat fanboy because I've been watching Mortal Kombat uh, TV shows, animated shows and series and you name it since I was a kid. I've been playing the game since day one. Yes, I was 10 years old when I first got my hands on Mortal Kombat. I might have been, no, it might have even been before because it came out in September of 92, I want to say, in the arcades, if I'm not mistaken. It might, it, it might have been earlier, but I remember I was around nine or 10 years old because I think when I got it on the Super Nintendo, I was 10. And it was 93, and I got it on my Super Nintendo. Actually, I got it in 94 on my Super Nintendo. I played it in 93 in the arcade. It had already been out a few months when I played it. That's what it was. Had to be. I don't know. I'm kind of old, but I remember 93 is when I originally played Mortal Kombat uh, on my Super Nintendo. And then... Mortal Kombat 2 and 3 and Ultimate MK3 and then Mortal Kombat uh, MK3 Ultimate and Trilogy, then Mortal Kombat 4 and then, well, oof, Mortal Kombat uh, Sub-Zero. Oh, what a, what a, what a game. But yeah, I, I love Mortal Kombat. I've been playing it ever since Mortal Kombat 5 Deadly Alliance and all those 3D fighters that came out since. It's just... Uh, big Mortal Kombat fan, and the new movie was was not too shabby. I just wish Johnny Cage had been in it from the get, but we're probably going to get Johnny Cage as the main character in Mortal Kombat 2 if the ending meant anything. Spoiler, but you've had plenty of time to watch it. So with that being said, I'm going to go back to what this video was about. Do I think this is going to be a full-on reboot? No. I think it's going to be, I hope it's going to be a remake for 2023 of Mortal Kombat 1. Of course, give us new game modes, online play, stuff like that, all those fancy features, the crypt and whatnot, but keep it simple. Keep it simple. Call it Mortal Kombat. Let's call it Mortal Kombat, not Mortal Kombat 1. Let's call it Mortal Kombat. Give it the classic dragon logo. Give it the classic Mortal Kombat font. Make it look like Mortal Kombat 1. And then in a year from now, take what you have and upgrade it. And it goes doo -doo -doo, Mortal Kombat 2. And then instead of every new season getting new characters, every year just keep it running. And you download the add-on, which changes from Mortal Kombat to Mortal Kombat 2 to Mortal Kombat 3 to Mortal Kombat 4. Ooh, imagine what that could do. Whole new way, whole new style of Mortal Kombat deliverance to Mortal Kombat deliverance. <gasps> That's an awesome name for Mortal Kombat game. Or show. Yeah. Okay, see, this is a fanboy's rambling on for almost 10 minutes. Yes, I am a Mortal Kombat fanboy. I'm going to admit it. I am. I love Mortal Kombat. My favorites are Johnny Cage and Scorpion. Those are my two favorite characters. And Shiva. I love Shiva. Those, are, uh, Yeah, I will definitely say in the Raiden. See, I got a lot of favorite characters. But if I had to pick my top, my top three would definitely be Scorpion, Johnny Cage, Johnny Cage and Scorpion, Depending on the day, Johnny Cage and Scorpion, and then Shiva number three. Those are definitely my favorite characters for Mortal Kombat. Yes, definitely. Fatality, babality, animality, friendship. Again, okay, I'll stop. This is me rambling on. Thank you guys so much. Tell me what you guys think about that trailer, what you think it's going to be. Drop it in the comments below, and remember to join us for the next episode of Ready to Start Podcast. Hey, we'll talk about it there. Why not? Thank you guys so much again. Subscribe, like, all that other great stuff. Like we always say, be legendary.
Thanks again.